Hello, kids. We are live at five. I'm Paul Wontorek. And I'm Beth Stevens. And we have some news, but first... We have Margot Seibert here, you guys. Margo you Seibert. loved her in Rocky, loved her in Transit. She's going to be doing a cool reunion thing. You'll find out more. Uh, we have She's a lot awesome. of news. It's all like it's all kind of London. London. It's kind of a lot of London news, London-y but day. involving some Broadway names. Yes, Exciting. tell us the big news. Okay, so I oh I get to say the biggest one. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so excited. You guys, they're making a musical about Tina Turner, and Donna Summer and Cher. But this is the Tina Turner one, <laughs> the Tina Turner musical. It's called Tina the Musical. Love I love. It. It's fun how they have to come up with titles of these things. Hilarious. Tina the Musical. It's not called What's Love Got to Do with It, but that's a great movie. Or simply the um, best. Oh Whatever. my God, Adrian Warren, Broadway's Adrian Warren has just been cast as Tina Turner. This is amazing. This is happening in London at the, uh, what the how do you Aldwych? say, the Aldwych the Theater? Aldwych. Uh, hopefully coming to Broadway, I hope. Um, it starts March 21st, opens April 21st. This is a big deal for Adrian Warren. Of course, she was Tony nominated for Shuffle Along, right? right. She was in We the fell in love with her at, in Bring, Bring It On. Bring It On, absolutely. Right. Bring It On. Uh, Dream Girls at the Apollo Theater. Oh, I saw that. That was a good production. <laughs> Didn't get enough play. Uh, the Wiz at Encores. Yeah. That was also, by the way, Andy Blank and Bueller, a great production that didn't get enough play. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know that it was going to hit so many buttons uh, with her with her resume. But anyway, this is a big deal. If, yeah. It's of course the story of Tina Turner from her humble beginnings in Nutbush, Tennessee. We love saying that in town mm -hmm. to becoming the global queen of rock and roll. And it's going to have all her hits like "What's Love Got to Do with It," "The Best," "Proud Mary." Proud of Mary. Oh my God! I wonder how Adrian Warren does the dance. I mean, that's going to be huge. She's going to have to take a lot. Choreography of by Anthony Van Last. Yeah. Doing the dance, no doubt. <laughs> Book by Katori Hall, who wrote that Martin Luther King play, "The Mountaintop." The mountaintop. Um, didn't, did she win a Pulitzer? Am I making that up? No, I think you're making it. Just a big deal. Yeah. It was just a big deal. Uh, Frank. Ketelar and Keys Print, direction by Felita Lloyd. Felita? Felita Lloyd. Felita. The Mamma Mia. The Mamma Mia genius who's you know just finishing wrapping her um, her Mamma Mia sequel featuring Cher, who will also have a musical about her. Anyway, <laughs> Tina the musical, it's a big deal. It's in London. Congratulations, Adrian Warren. Yes. Woo! Yes. Uh, more news out of London. Stomp, which has been there for a million years or 15 <laughs> is closing and so stomp started there in 1994 at sadler's wells which is where, where there's a lot of dance it's like stuff. a dance it's really a dance a place, dance place. Yeah. and then it moved to the vaudeville and then it moved to the ambassadors where it's been for 10 years so 15 years later stomp is closing but fear not fear not luke creswell i haven't heard that name in a while and steve mcnicholas those are the creators of stomp yes. said they're gonna take a break reconfigure buy some new brooms some, buy some new, buy trash, some new cans. Garden, trash can tops and maybe return to London in a different venue at some point. Cool. So, yeah, that's been around for a long time. And of course, and of course it's, still it's still playing. Here at the Orpheum. At Remember the when there were plays there? But there haven't yeah. been since 1994. Remember when Little Shop of Horrors was there? And uh, Oleana. I saw Oleana oh, there. Yeah. But anyway, it's been at the Orpheum since 1994, which just shows how old we are. Yay. It's a long time. <laughs> Uh, so this is interesting. There's this Twilight Zone um, sh show. It's not it's a musical. Adaptation. I was like so close to going musical. <laughs> it's not a musical, but I'm really curious about what it is because Twilight Zone is, of course, an anthology television show. So every episode was completely unrelated to right. one another. Right. So, and there was a movie that even the movie of uh, Twilight episodic. Zone had like four separate stories. So anyway, I don't know what the play is going to be, but I'm sure it's going to be creepy and cool, and I kind of want to see it. Black and white. Anne right? Washburn is adapting it. Richard Jones is directing it. These are fancy people. Um, it was running from December 5th through January 27th at the Almeida, which is a fancy theater. So this is kind of like a lot of fancy. This is fancy. Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's yeah. not, yeah. I mean, it's a big deal. Uh, they announced a the cast today. I will give them all a shout out. I don't know any of them. I'm sure they're all amazing. Oliver Alvin, well, I love saying a bunch of names I don't know. And they're all British. So you can we'll see, see how I do. Uh, we got Oliver, Alvin Wilson, Frank Ashman, Adriana Bertola, Lizzie, C C Lizzie Connolly. I love that Connolly is the word that start that like <laughs> threw me off. Uh, a Amy Griffiths, Neil High, Cosmo Jarvis, cool name. John Marquez, uh, Matthew Needham, and Sam Swansbury. Anyway, it sounds cool. I want to see it. I hope it comes to New York. Yes. Okay. Lenny Volpe. I hope I'm saying that correctly. So oh he's, yeah, he's well, he great. Was, you know, he's one of my favorite Herbies in Gypsy. Oh really? Yeah, Thanks. he was Herbie with Betty Buckley at the oh. Pitmore Playhouse. Just throwing it out there. Oh, okay. And it, of course, a great w Wicked Star, wicked the Wizard, star. for many years. He's going to be the star of a Connecticut Christmas Carol. So oh, Jeffrey, I'm so sorry. Jeffrey pointed out that Phyllida Lloyd is not directing Mamma Mia sequel. But I'm sure she's excited for it. She's part of it all. Sorry, I just I was sort of improvising on the news with that well, one thank moment. You, Jeffrey. But Jeffrey is always there to catch us. 
Yes, and we love him for when that. Is, when are you coming by? When is Jeffrey going to be in studio? Yeah, I know. We need him, like, fact oh. checker on the side. Um, <laughs> Correcting okay, us so live. This is a, I like that, though. <laughs> a, Connecticut, a, a Connecticut Christmas Carol. This is obviously an adaptation of the Dickens classic that we all know. How, why is it important to this in Connecticut? Because it takes place at the good speed, and it's directed by Hunter Foster. Ah, cool. So this, let me tell you the plot. A famed actor and local legend, William Gillette, leaves his castle on the Connecticut River to adapt Dickens' holiday story. Local heroes Mark Twain, Harriet Beecher Stowe, and P.T. Barnum. Oh, they're all from Connecticut. That's why it's part of the title. appearances. You're also from Connecticut. I am. I'm um, not in the, the show. The company includes Matt Gibson, who is our former Broadway.com intern. Shout out to Matt. True. As Bob true. Pratchett. One of our first interns. That's a true fact. And Robert Burson as Tiny, Tiny Tim. That's November 17th. Through December 24th, and you're in good hands with Hunter Foster as the director, so that'll be great. Oh yeah, he's doing a lot. I'm yeah. so it's so impressive what he's doing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to Goosby this weekend to see Rags. Oh, you've been wanting to do so that for so long. With, with Samantha myself, I'm so excited. Rob Ruggiero is redoing it. Anyway, I'm excited about that. Um, but also on the site, Anastasia's Derek Klenna will be kicking off a new season of Show People, starting Yay. with tomorrow. So I'm I'm interviewing people again in the blue backdrop. <laughs> um, two white chairs. Cute uh, chairs, cute chairs. There are photos Cute of, finally, photos of Michael Urey and Mercedes Rule in Torch Song, which I'm seeing tonight. Me Have too. You <gasps> but what? Not together, but together. Competing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so I'll see we'll Beth see there. there, and maybe <laughs> some, some of you will be there. And also, congratulations to the whole cast of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory because you just celebrated 200 performances that's at a the Lone Fontaine that's Theater. That's great. Uh, so that, that's good. Milestones are great. So we'll, be, we'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back with Margot Seibert. On the outside, always looking in, will I ever be more than I've always been? Cause I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass, I'm waving through a window. Go ahead, throw your rocks at me. Baking a pie is easy, if you know how. I'm still only life were as easy as pie. Waitress is a hit, raised the New York Times, with songs by Grammy-nominated artist Sarah Bareilles, an uplifting celebration of love and laughter. Sugar butterfly. Broadway's Come From Away is a best musical winner all across North America. This stirring and inspiring musical takes you to a place you never want to leave. Celebrate the best of humankind and the best in all of us at Come From Away, the remarkable true story of the small town that welcomes. Hey everyone, we are back live at five with Margot Seibert. Yeah. Hi, Hi, darling. Hi. How are you? Oh, oh, thank you so much. So good I'm to really see well. you. you. Uh, to be what's here. going on? Oh, what's going on? I well, mean, I, I many things, many things. But many let, things. Let's, let's start with the number, the number one thing that we're here to talk yeah. about. So you did this show that I have not seen. You haven't seen it. I never saw it. You missed it in the basement of Baruch University. I missed it. It's yep. called Tamar and the River. <laughs> yes. Which makes me think it's biblical. Loosely, very loosely, loosely. biblical. Loosely. We like lo we like loose. Loosely, okay. Yes. Loosely I, biblical. Let me emphasize. Uh, but I remember it because when you were cast in Rocky, yes. you of course were fantastic in Rocky so Das much. Musical, which das I think musical. they renamed Rocky the Musical <laughs> uh, for Broadway. Yeah. Uh, and of course you were Adrian. Um, oh, and you were fantastic. Indeed. Thank you. And I remember that everyone said, "Oh my gosh, she was so great in Tomorrow in the River," and I was like, "I didn't see that." So right. I missed it. Yes, I mean, okay. was it like a big run that I wasn't I mean, paying it attention like to? It was a big run, but it was a run, and we it was it was amazing. Yeah. I, I was it was like to to go from doing Tomorrow of the River to Rocky das was Das Musical das Musical was <laughs> was a huge jump, and I, I have been working on this piece or had been working on Tomorrow of the River with Marissa Michelson, the composer, um, and Josh Cohen, the writer, um, for like. Your whole Eight life. Year, for, since I was three, <laughs> and uh, it's a kind of what it, but I feel like I learned to to sing this music. The music is unbelievable. Okay, um, it's kind of like vocal acrobatics uh -huh. in the best way, cool. and uh, and we had a, a run at Baruch for yep. I don't know how many weeks. I don't. I'm not good with time, mm -hmm. but um, it was you I, were acclaimed. I was acclaimed. <laughs> um, Lynn and Steve, I think Lynn and Steven came before, and Alex Aaron's Stevers, and I think, yeah, Aaron's and Flaherty. You might know them as Aaron's Flaherty. Flaherty. She's um, fancy. They came to seek, they were like, well, we cast this girl, like, let's go check her out. And I think they were all like, oh my God. 
Like, oh, it, it so feels, you were in it and you already had Rocky? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay. so so that was, it was always great to have work lined up. Yes. But um, we are doing this reunion concert yeah, of so, so The Yeah, so the whole cast is reuniting, Yes, right? we made an album, um, which... I was just li I've been listening to to refamiliarize myself You're with like, what I sang. Is it still in your in your bones? This it music? is. I it mean, is. You've it's, been doing it since you were three. So I've been doing it since I was three. So it's really, really in there. And I I think it's it's kind of not to be missed. Uh huh. Will you be there? I don't know. No pressure. No November pressure. One. We'll check your calendar. November one. Um. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Fifty four below at nine thirty. Nine thirty. And I think we're just about sold out. I what? think there's a handful. So maybe of I tickets. won't be there. What? Yeah. I don't know. I want to see it. Come. Yeah. Um, it's gonna so be. This is fun. Do you like reunions? I love them. Yeah. I actually just was um, reunited with the in transit. I know. Cast I last saw night. that on social media. Yeah, primary you and stages. Your in yeah, what? it's wonderful because you form this family. Where did you guys reunite last night? Uh, we were at Tribeca 360 doing uh, the primary stages gala. Cool. And just the reunion, the ability to get back together with a family. You yeah. know, you're so like, you're so in the trenches with them yes. for this yeah. very intense period of uh -huh. time, and then you're like, okay, bye. <laughs> Maybe we'll see you again. But this, I feel like tomorrow, like we, we. We always want to sing this music again. It's a, it's a, it's, it's such an awesome experience, and the yeah. river itself is a, is a, an ensemble of voices. Oh, which they make all of the sound. It's, wow, it's really unique. So, what's the story? Who's well, tomorrow? what's what to, is it? It's very loosely based on the Bible, okay. but it's this. There, are, there's a land that we don't know exactly where it is, and it is at war. And um, resources are running out, mm -hmm. and specifically the water, specifically the river, okay. is hmm, really um, being polluted. Does this sound familiar to anyone? And um, <laughs> and so this this young woman is um, in her gut gets this message that she is going to be the one, hopefully, to to reunite these two lands, to figure out a way mm. to to sa save the water, to save this river. And so she embarks on this journey, and she is led by this ensemble of like, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's Marissa, don't be mad, it's like 10 voices, 12 voices. Right. Um, um, incredibly physical, Chase Brock choreographed us, and D Danny Goldstein directed uh -huh. it. Yep. And so, she, like, but like with anything, when you set out on a journey, sometimes um, if, you're, if you're gaining some momentum and you have a great deal of power, Things can go very, very awry. Mm -hmm. So um, she actually ends up losing um, husband number one oh. and also husband number two. Um, and there's there's a lot of drama. She goes through it. She goes is through it. There's a lot of big singing. It. Big drama. Big singing. Big singing. Big singing. Big singing. Like amazing. The the finale is about a 12 minute number. Wow. Yeah. It's oh. really cool. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so this is exciting. Yes. Yes. If you if you don't have your tickets already, please grab them. Come uh -huh. visit us. And anything river. else you've been up to since In Transit? So In Transit yeah, ended when? in April. Ended in April? Yes, it ended okay. in April. And I recovered from my acapella. I was like, we were what like... What was the recovery like the after recovery. In Transit? <laughs> well, we... Um, it, it, that was a really, really hard show. Yeah. We, there was no orchestra for anyone who didn't right. get to see it. There was no orchestra. Yeah, exactly. and Broadway's first acapella musical. First acapella musical. Yeah. So we made all of the sounds the entire time. Right. Um, and so even when you're off stage, when you're changing clothes, you are fully singing constantly making and we noise. also have in ears right so we could hear up to the 11 voices singing right. plus the conductor conducting you wow. while you're doing your scenes wow so it was incredible it was i felt like it took a few months to just kind of yeah like okay like i couldn't listen to anything like the whole time in transit was happening like, i couldn't listen nothing to music. in my ears please. nothing in my ears, nothing in my ears. Um, <laughs> but it was a now i listen to the album and i'm like damn yeah that was great yeah yeah um so that was wonderful and then i got married I got married. She's married. I got married. It ended. We went and got married. My husband, Kevin Munhall, is currently in Anastasia. Oh, fantastic. Um, and we went on our honeymoon. I don't know him. Is he a nice guy? Oh, he's a wonderful guy. Congratulations. Very talented. He leaps through the air. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and, he, and so that happened, and I'm writing music. I'm, I'm working on an album currently. Look at you. Yeah. See, I knew you had a lot going on. A lot going on. Yeah. And, and a personal life. That's nice. And a personal it's nice life. Sure, it's nice to make sure your personal uh, life for is For the record, a personal life too, is right? also really well, nice. While Broadway's happening, I mean, yeah. you got to make sure you're happy yeah. outside of the theater, Right, too. and we have, a, we have a car now, so we go upstate, which I've been kind of stalking your upstate home just a little. <laughs> Are you going to stop by? I don't know. Oh. Maybe. You have maybe a car. if you could write me. Oh, I love it. It okay. looks gorgeous. Okay, well, oh, thank you. We'll yeah. talk. We'll okay. talk after great. about upstate is great. Yeah. Hash, that's a hashtag I'm working on. Um, <laughs> but uh, we have a lot of questions. Oh, my God. People love please. you. Loved you as Adrian in Rocky, as did I. That's Alec awesome. wants to know were there any memorable onstage mishaps in Rocky? Well, I mean, people were beating each other up in Rocky. So yes, there were many, many a mishap. <laughs> um, but I, yes, technically, that show was incredible 
kind of an, an incredible, yeah. incredible feat. Alex Timbers directed it, Alex and it Timbers, was nuts. Like I mean, you got nuts in the best way. The vision, yes, nuts. And uh, there, so there were sometimes, you know, sometimes the set doesn't necessarily feel like participating in the show. Uh -huh. Like every once in a while. So I would say for me, I was, you know, making my Broadway debut and very early on um, in, I believe, our preview process. Uh -huh. um, I'm on the pet shop. The pet shop is about to make its entrance. Yes, I remember the pet shop. Yeah. It was an incredible you looking. You worked like, in the pet shop. I worked yes, in the pet Aiden shop. Worked in the pet and shop. we had all these like CGI, like amazing, like fish. Yes. Like everyone thought we had real fish. Yes. Anyway, so we start, you know, the set starts to move. And as I'm sitting on it, it breaks into two pieces, like along where it's supposed to be latched. Okay. And it was latched, but it didn't feel like it. And it literally was like experiencing an earthquake. Oh my <laughs> like, God. So it, the, the set split into two and I had to leap, I had to leap off and we held the show. And, and then we put it back together. We started, started, I mean, started again. With these big sets, sometimes it's like you're running for your life. Yeah. It feels like, you know, yeah. th this thing is really heavy. Yeah, it's really heavy. I'm, and I'm, our bo the boxing ring was always above us, so the boxing ring kind of created the ceiling. It was sort ceiling. of like covered the yeah. entire, mm -hmm. oh wow. Yeah, it created the ceiling for most of the sets. I forgot they, I forgot it lowered, yeah. yeah. And yeah, it yeah. tilted at one point, it became a projector screen. That's right. Alex, you know what I on. have at my in, in my uh, possession? I bought it last year at the flea market. What did you? I get? bought one of the huge banners of oh. Andy Carl as Rocky. Oh you know, one of those big banners like the fight announcement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I think Terrence Arch is in it. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's amazing. I don't know what to do with it yet. So. Okay. I don't know. We'll wallpaper. I have to figure Maybe. it out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. So that was a mishap. That was a that was a mishap for sure. Uh, George wants to know, Margot, are there any shows you would love to star in opposite Kevin? Oh, I'm assuming is, they mean your husband. Yeah, I'm like, wait, Kevin who? <laughs> oh, opposite Kevin. Kevin Klein. <laughs> Kevin Klein. That's a great. That's a great question. I mean, I've always wanted, I've always wanted to play Louise and Gypsy. Oh. So I think he would be tremendous. What's uh -huh. like, what's the, what, I've, what's the dude's name? What? What's the dude's the dude? name? And oh, you mean to yeah. play the the, uh, the dancing boy? Uh, All I need is the girl. Yeah. What's that one? What's D Austin, Dallas. What's his name? What? Texas. Houston. No, no Houston. It's, um, Tulsa. So, Tulsa. Tulsa. <laughs> so he so could play Tulsa. Yes. Okay. Um, that's the that. first one that comes to mind. Yeah, that's good. Um, that's fun. Yeah. I okay. mean, you would only have like that one. You don't have that, that many moments together, but so we be... actually met doing Ever After. Oh, Kevin and I. okay. Yeah. So at we Paper Mill. I saw at that. Paper Mill. Yeah. Um, so we. I. F I feel super lucky that we got. That was the way that. That we met, and he was the dance captain in that, and I had a big dance number. So learning the dance number made you fall in love with him. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's yeah. by far it was my it, I was I was vulnerable. I was in a vulnerable. Okay. I was yep. like, and but I want to conquer this. Uh huh. You I'm did. I remember, do it for you, I remember Marshall, you. I remember man. you dancing. So your yeah, he 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 helped me <laughs> quite a bit. So <laughs> was he? Um, I love showmances. I yeah, love the stories behind showmances. Showman. So uh, at what point did you realize that he was like into you, or like how did it all go down? Well, I didn't know that he was into me. I was doing a play. I was so I was rehearsing for this show at Paper Mill uh, for mm -hmm. Ever After, yep. and I was also doing a play down at Rattlestick right. in the West Village. Yeah, um, what was the that undeniable sound of right now. Okay. Right. Yeah. And uh, and so I was advertising within the cast, like come to come like see my play. Out flyers. Yeah, come see my play. To the cute dance and, captain. And he was like, "That's okay." Oh. He said, "That's okay." <laughs> and I was like, "I don't need one." I called him Kevin in the plaid shirt because there were two Kevins, so I couldn't I couldn't remember who was who. <laughs> and I was like, "Kevin in the plaid shirt doesn't need a flyer." And it was because he already had tickets to oh. come, and he came by himself wow. to go see me. So I was like, "But I didn't know that for ages." Right. So I and would, then he was just there one night? I didn't even know. No, he didn't stay to say hi. Oh, my God. That's what, like I found out much, much later. What, really? Yes, yes. Just, he was like, I don't need a flyer. Maybe later, he just like, wanted I'm, to stare at you for a couple hours without <laughs> you looking back and figure out if he was really into you. Maybe. And see me. Like, I was a girl. I was, like, on drugs in that show. Like, there was, like, you know, just maybe That's see. always appealing. Always appealing. So <laughs> that, I that I, and, like, his tenacity and how he, um, he was so... Just he's such a generous spirit and very kind uh -huh. and caring. And even when I'm like trying to learn to dance and maybe crying in the back row, um, <laughs> which <laughs> getting better at every day, and um, Broadway Dance Center, and uh, and so that I think like uh -huh. bit by bit we would hung, hang out, spend lunches together, 
New 42. You that know, wasn't how that goes. long ago, that show. So no, you guys it was 2015. got married pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that yeah. how you roll? You're like, you know what? This is working. Let's just do this. Well, now that's how I roll. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I think I was always like, I don't know if I actually really believe in this whole marriage thing. And then <laughs> I met Kevin and I was like, oh, if it's you as my partner, oh, that that's makes sweet. That's it. That that's makes wonderful. sense. Yeah. Yeah, so that's really great. Aww. How great. Thank you for um, asking. <laughs> Andy Lefkowitz, our news editor, Andy. who's like 50 feet from Where us, are you? said, I saw Margo in Tamar of the River. <gasps> Paul, you didn't do your research. I did. I added that. He said, the score is gorgeous, and Margo was amazed. So, so yeah. I really like, appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. I felt like Andy it was... Andy sees everything. It was, um, it was, yeah, it was like an hour and a half. I never left stage. Like, I think I had, we had like, you know, those shows where you have a hidden water you know, <laughs> underneath the chair, and you just, then you run back out. Right. So um, it, it was really intense. Thank you, Andy. Uh, Bradley said, I would love to see Saturday Night get a revisit. Oh. oh. I mean, that's always out there. People are going to keep revisiting Saturday Night, right? Yeah, we got uh, to sing Pey that at the York. Oh, this is a very deep question. Peyton wants to know, Peyton. what is your life motto? Do you have a motto? I don't, I don't have a My motto. My life motto. I said motto. Motto. <laughs> My life motto. Um... That's a that's a great question. I feel like right now my life motto, um, as I am I am living in the in between. I'm in that lovely place where most actors, every actor, finds themselves uh -huh. for um, chunks, small chunks of time, between or gigs. between gigs. Right. So in the in between, and that's a lot of auditioning, and that's which a is different than the. It's not the thing in um, Stranger Things. That's that's the what's that the called? What is that? Is that living the in the walls? The upside down. The upside oh, the down. Upside Sorry, down. it's Correction. not the upside down. It's the but in between. Like, actually, <laughs> it's kind of like that. It's like living inside of a wall covered by goo. <laughs> and that, for me, it's a lot of, it's a, it's like a constant, it's a ton of television auditioning. It's putting uh -huh. yourself out there. And I, I feel like my motto right now is to be unapologetic with what I have to offer. Hmm. I think that that would be... That would be what I'm what I'm trying to remind myself. Yeah. Daily. Yeah. yeah I like yeah. that. Thank you. You just have to keep the, the right sure. attitude and. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's a it's a, a daily it's a daily. Yeah. I mean, being thing. an actor is a, a tough a tough thing. Uh, Lloyd it's wants to know what's the coolest stage door gift you ever got. The stage what? Stage door gift. Oh, stage door gift. People were very generous at In Transit. Yeah. Um, Aaron Mackey and I shared a dressing room. Did the fans have a name? In Fansit. Uh, naturally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and Aaron Mackey and I uh, shared a dressing room, and we would puzzle a lot. We, we made our dressing room into the um, granny, the granny dressing room. Um, you remember that, right? Granny dressing room? Granny dressing room. So mugs where we, hu we hung, hung mugs. We did yeah. puzzles. Okay. We had like a... Dis granny. Uh, I mean, we okay. also had like a bunch of whiskey, but... Are you an old soul? Um, Do you think I've yourself? Always, yes, an okay. old soul. Uh -huh. So, and, and, but Aaron, Aaron is the puzzle master. Okay. So we got somebody... Um, one of our infansits gave us a puzzle of us, a picture, like, like a, a picture, picture of, that they of Aaron and okay. I uh -huh. doing the show. Like so, you did a puzzle of yourself. Puzzle of ourselves. Uh -huh. That was a unique. That's weird. Um, we've been given oh, just lovely things, fans, mugs. You know, that's weird. So like you, you have all the pieces out, and you're like, Aaron, I think that's your eye. That's your eye. Like I know your uh, yeah. So, that's uh -huh. weird. It's a great idea. It's weird to like put together your own face. Well, yeah. <laughs> and then you can just modge podge it, and then you can just put it on the wall. Uh huh. <laughs> or give so it to or give it to. Wait, the so I'll hear about the music. So you're writing music. I'm writing music. And you want to make an album? What kind of music? Yeah. Well, it's it's what kind of music? I'm I am very inspired by the '70s and the '80s. Okay. There's like there's some covers in there. There's some Tears for Fears. There's oh. some Doobie Brothers. Oh. Yes. I just can't. Thank you. I just can't. So help you've already myself. been recording. No, but it okay, is. But um, you're planning it. Yes, I'm planning okay. it. And now and then also they're just kind of became this window for my own songs, which I've only recently started writing. I love it. Yeah, so there's some things that, that, um, that I'm gonna, you know, and also like there's a lot of Joni, Joni Mitchell in there. It's uh, well, all sorts of You gotta of have Joni. Tears for Fears, Joni Mitchell. Like, <laughs> yeah, I gotta do a concert. Concert is the next step. Yeah, yeah. duh. Yeah. Uh, Lloyd wants to know, did you get to see Andy Carlin <laughs> Groundhog Day? I did, I did. I got to see him, um, I don't know if it was, I don't know how many months ago it was, but it, right. I had such a good time. Right. And like he, he was a powerhouse. I know. It's it amazing. For yeah. Four months. Yeah. It's a shame it's not still there to see. Oh come on. But you know, Broadway. Right? Broadway, Broadway I mean, is a. Broadway's tough. It's I tough. Mean, yeah. I mean. It's, it's amazing, and you never know if the rug's just gonna get. And right. and and the reasoning we don't don't right. always. Right. 
really yeah, can't predict. Don't you must know, know that. what's happening. Right, or what's <laughs> happening. I'm actually so lucky when we started Rocky, I didn't know what grosses were. When you started, you didn't when know what that When I started, meant. I didn't know what it meant. And then people started saying to and you, And people like, started saying oh, the grosses. And I still I ignored them actively. <laughs> I was like, mm, okay. And then, like, you don't know if the end is coming. Yeah. Some people very, you know, they need to track it. They want to know what's yeah. what. And I had no clue. Yeah. And it was the, the bliss. Yeah. The bliss of ignorance at that point. Right. Yeah. Right. Now, now you're a little, a little more. Yeah. Now you're like, a if this, more savvy. like, you know, if it, if it, if it works and the, the, th the stars align, yep. then it can be there for years. Absolutely. If not, you, you enjoy it and then, then you move on. Do you have any, Aaron and Alec both want to know, do you have any other, a dream role other than Louise and Gypsy that maybe you want to play? Is there anything else you want to throw out there? Oh, well, um, you know, what came to mind, I've always wanted to do Floyd Collins. Oh. Um, oh yes. yes. We like that. Right? Yep. I love it. That show and needs to come back. I, I just do, tweeted that. You what? just I tweeted that the show needs to, Matt the show needs to come back. Matt just tweeted that. You guys, that's the stars aligning. I, yeah, I would absolutely... Like Matt Roden, who just said he's getting off t social media, said he just tweeted that. <laughs> like a week ago, I said. And <laughs> you just said it's your dream thing, so I don't know. I don't maybe, know. Who maybe knows? That's gonna happen. So I'm gonna, I'll put that out there. Yeah, put, put that, that out there. there. Yeah. I like the gypsy idea too. Thank that's you. That's cool. Uh, okay, so Tamar and the River is playing at Feinstein slash Fifty Four Below. Yes, Feinstein slash. November first yes, at nine thirty. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be amazing. It's the final be song's like twelve minutes. Apparently. Amazing. Yeah. You you should come check it out. One hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, it's what? When will it happen again? We don't know. Right. And is the album out yet? Or the album? Be... Yes, the album's okay, out. The album's it's also out. on Spotify. Okay. Okay. So I would highly recommend you also come to the concert. Or yeah. <laughs> but but if yeah. you can't, yeah. check us out on yeah. Spotify. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here, Marcus Of course. Sivert. Thanks for having me. So great me. to see you. Thanks for having me. Such a pleasure. Uh, hope to see you again soon. Yes. Maybe upstate. Maybe in the city. Yeah, anywhere. Who knows? Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, okay. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with another awesome guest. Bye.